Hey guys, we're back with another pick a card reading. We're going to take a look at what's going on with your connection with your person, what's going on in their life. Uh, we're going to go a little bit extensive to take a look at their karmic energies and um, see what is happening in their life towards karma and towards you. So there are three piles for you to pick from today. The first one is going to be these Amazonite prayer beads with the clear quartz with the firefly and these were all intuitively shuffled so these cards will be incorporated into your reading the second card that came out was the dragonfly with the tree and the citrine crystal so again I will incorporate the dragonfly into your reading and the last one is the swan that came out with the clear agate stone and that will also be incorporated into your reading so you may want to pause the video to feel intuitively and we're going to get started Hey, welcome group number one for those that picked this beautiful firefly. It's really gorgeous and we're going to put that up here for your reading. And these, uh, this is an Amazonite, I uh, can't remember what they're called, but they're prayer beads. And these are stones from the Amazon in the river with this beautiful crystal. So we're going to just lay that out for you right there. And um, we're going to take a look at what's going on. Um, I'm going to pull some cards. This is for pile number one. The first thing that I'm getting from your person is that they're waking up. This person is on the brink of uh, awakening in their life. And they're realizing that they have a power in them is what I'm getting. I'm feeling like they may not have realized it before in the past. This person may have had a lot of traumas in their life and they're realizing wow like this whole time I was my own source of light I could have lit up the dark this entire time and I didn't realize that I could actually see through these illusions so your person is really on a brink of an awakening and I feel that this is probably a no contact situation or they're pulled back quite a bit um, or they're back and forth in your connection and I think that's because they were wavering between, if you notice how fireflies are, they go on and they go off in the, in the night sky. So I feel that there is something in regards to that, that they're on and off, on and off. And um, we're going to see what other predominant animal, that's the energy. Um, we're going to see what energy they're grounding. So that is the higher realms. We're going to get the four corners is what I'm being told. So let's take a look. Can we get what's grounding in the earth plane for pile one, please, with their person? So they're very skittish like a rabbit. Uh, new beginnings, something may have shifted for them this past spring, around Easter time, around the spring equinox, or something may have happened in your connection. And Spirit is really bringing out that they're on alert right now. This rabbit is on alert. You see the ears are up. They're they're noticing something. And so they do want to start something fresh, new. This person also has a lot of passion because you know bunnies reproduce. <laughs> and um, they're really focused on what they uh, want to manifest right now. Okay, the recent past is that they may um, have realized in the recent past that there are very rare species here they I'm getting like the white Siberian Tigers and that they have this mystic intuition about them and something that they may have been trying to you know ignore for most of their life and they're realizing I can't ignore this anymore and this is what's brought them their higher self has been bringing them into this awakening in their higher self here so we'll just move my card so we can them 
and they're noticing their, their stature now. They're noticing that there's something very prominent about who they are as a light worker and how they're moving into the eastern direction into their calling. I saw this on the bottom of the deck just now um, is hummingbird energy. Hummingbird energy is a very sacred animal and they try to find the sweetness. The sweetest flower is only the best. And so this person is starting to have an awakening about your connection. I don't feel they're ready to quite move forward, but we're gonna see what the cards say. Um, but I am feeling that they want to definitely, we have the cosmic egg on the bottom too. So they really want to taste this nectar. They had, they, the, they remember, the hummingbird remembers what's the sweetest nectar. <laughs> they always go back to the flower eventually. And so if they couldn't linger by you for long, it was because they didn't realize this mystical connection. They are awakening to this mystical connection. And that's going to be in the near future too, that they may want to return to, we'll take this out as well too from the bottom of the deck. We also have crow on the bottom which I'm going to take as well. So there's definitely um, medicine that's coming here, <laughs> white buffalo medicine, and they may be slow to move and they may have been wearing a mask, but that's in reverse. So um, yeah, there's definitely a shift and medicine calling, um, but when buffalo shows up, especially white buffalo, it's, uh, it's very much a rarity. So this is a very rare connection. This is something they've never experienced before. They've never felt this way before, and um, this is how they really want to move forward. I hope you guys like this layout better um, than what I've had in the past. We'll move these a little bit here so you can get those on camera so you can see those. Okay, so we're going to start with some... I'm just going to intuitively go and see what's going on for Pal One. Pal One's person towards them, please, Spirit. What is going on with Pal One's person? I'm just going to shuffle and see what is Pal One's intentions, uh, what's going on with them overall. Energy towards Pal One, please. Okay, we have message in a bottle. And we have out to sea. A lot of water energy, so you could be dealing with a water sign. There's some messages from their person, please. What are some messages from their person? Pile one, please. We're going to see if they're predominantly in feminine or masculine energy right now. What is going on with Pile one's person, please? They're definitely in a strong masculine energy. Okay. We're gonna go over these in a sec. So they're definitely in a very strong masculine energy. Uh, this is a very uh, strong masculine energy. They don't, not that they don't have feminine energies in them, but they're very much uh, predominantly very masculine. You could be very feminine or vice versa, but this person is very strong. They're very direct. They're very logical mind is what I'm getting but they are definitely um, waking up into their divine masculine energy. Let's see what's going on with Pal One's person. What is going on? Well, we have the three pentacles that came out. So yeah, they're looking at, they're kind of looking at you here. You may be held back a little bit. They want to build something with you, but they, they don't know They've been kind of focused on their own work here and you're kind of standing here looking at them like, yeah, like, why are you doing this on your own? Like, I have all the knowledge. I have the information here. I have more info. Um, so why are you, t why are you chiseling away at this? We haven't started yet. Um, this, oh gosh, things are just popping out here. Um, yeah, they may have been focused on other things in their material world and they turned their back to you and they weren't really willing to, um, you know, plant seeds with you and they're waiting for, <laughs> they're waiting for something to grow, but it's not, um, nothing is happening. This is just, you know, not all the fruit is bearing no matter how much they've work they've put into something and they're starting to realize that. 
So let's see what's going on with pal one's person, please. We have another one that's shown up. So this is so this is why the Empress has turned her back. So this is the Empress. She holds the destiny. She holds the magic. And this is why she's also um, turned her back here. Uh, she's turned her back and she's been following spirit and looking at her family and healing herself. And there's a skull here uh, that she's she's really over. She's she's saying, I think it's done. So you may have walked away. What is going on with Pal One's person? If we can get a shuffle in. <laughs> Pal One's person, please. And because you have walked away, they may have... Um, definitely woken up I'm reading the cards differently today there's a different energy coming in so yeah so we're going to clarify these now three of swords clarify please we have two there Oh, that fell down. Once. Okay. So, in this person's mindset right now, I feel like, yeah, they were probably turning their back to you. They didn't want to discover this with you. We have the Page of Swords with the Eight of Swords. This person was in some kind of mind entrapment. Um, they were floating in their own illusions this person has no grounding you see they're they're not grounded uh they may have had a bit of an ego that they knew more than what you were trying to express to them they may have put you to the side and say well i'm having a different perspective over here like i can't see what you're seeing and they decide to follow their own way but it led to some form of entrapment here it led them to some um, mind concepts, a self-sabotaging way that put the blinders on that they weren't able to see. And this is where their mind has been in regards to this connection. But this person is definitely waking up because we'll go over the oracles that came out in a bit. But um, we do have out to see and message in a bottle that they may want to return here and bring you something. Um because they did go out their own way. They left. Somebody turned their back and they left. And this person looks very sad in their boat that they, they don't really want this anymore. Because in their heart space, they're, they're trying to get over this heartbreak here. They notice that even when it rains, there's a flower. And we have the Two of Cups here with the uh, hanged man so they're noticing in their surrender space that there are people here enjoying themselves and there's this evil snake here that they can't get away from and they're realizing maybe I can't do this by myself I need their help or this snake is going to bite me um, we also have like a mask has fallen off here with your person I've never noticed that before so there's a mask that's come off in this person in this hangman position of them being stagnant for a while about this relationship that even in their darkest days, in their sadness here, there is a, could have been a third party situation, but it's there's definitely something that's blossomed out of this darkness. The rain has purified them and has grown something. This is what may have happened here. Yeah, they may have ruined the offering that you gave them with a third party. And uh, they felt that they had the wisdom here. They were in the light. They knew what they were doing when they ghosted you or left. And they may have been in a long-term standing partnership already, or they may have chosen someone else. But they also knew that the two snakes entwined here, because I was seeing the snake here right he was left with his snake this masculine was left with the snake because the empress turned their back and this 
when you came together in the beginning, your snakes were entwined together. Your darkness, you were able to heal darkness together. When you brought your cups together in the night, you you brought light. Look at the shine, the stars shining. And you were able to bring a lot of light to each other as you came into a, a union when you first met, that your snakes, you tempered the the darkness. Sorry, you can't see that. <laughs> you can see that better. You you were you were tempering the darkness here. And here's that snake when you walked away and turned your back. Now he can't he, he put himself in a position where the darkness is coming after him because he ruined this flower, this gift. Interesting. So this is why they've awakened now because they're realizing they can't do certain things <laughs> because they left the other one behind. They may have went off with somebody else here. Um... This, this Queen of Wands has her eyes closed and is very passionate and, and um, they may have chosen somebody else here who wasn't awakened. See how her eyes are closed. And because of that, they want to leave now. They want to leave this situation. Uh, there's a lot of thorns that they didn't see. See all the vines, all the binding. They could have been magic, could have been done on this person. They may have been praying to a, a deity or an idol that to do some spell work you see all the vines were tied up behind but they didn't see the darkness here they've had an awakening here that this horse this mystical magical creature has come in to help uh, break this open this lightning bolt from creator to show them the truth of this karmic energy this is how they're feeling towards you they feel like maybe they were seduced out of this connection with somebody who was completely unawakened. And we have the world here with the <laughs> with the fire and the water, twin flames, with two rings here. That they need to end a cycle. They need to start something new with these two flames. And there's that hawk again. Um which is like the Empress card that we saw that came out at the beginning, that the Empress followed spirit, was following the hawk, was following the father energy, the masculine energy, the creator energy, the universe, and the sun. And now he's real, his masculine is like, I realize and am illuminated to this connection here, the flames and the intuition. And, uh, yeah. That's all I'm getting from that. So I'm definitely seeing this person wants to come towards you. I definitely feel like they're having an awakening. We're going to look at the karmic situation in a minute. But um, what's holding them back from coming forward? But let's clarify a little bit more. That they may have turned their back and put themselves in a mind and trap place of entrapment here. Oh God, there's so many. What was that about spirit? Yeah, they may have had a lots of options. They were looking at many options. They were confused. They didn't know which way to go. We have the King of Wands, and we have a pair here that they may have turned their back to a karmic energy here. But they're realizing that um, they were looking towards the snake. See, look at that big snake. I've never seen that before coming out of the tree. And they decided, and it's wrapping around the tree, so it's something in their lineage. This is something they've been trying to heal for a very long time. It's a family pattern. If you can see, there's the snake winding in its head coming out. And that's why they chose this soulmate karmic. Because that's, you know, see the vines are the same way. They were binded. And they were confused at the time coming to this person and so they had so many options that so they turned their back and they felt a little bit holier than thou maybe saying well you don't understand what's going on in this other connection and they may have just thrown you to the side is what I'm getting but they're realizing now that you stand out above all the rest 
and they've tamed the reptilian mind here. Like they've taken the snake down kind of, I know it's a lizard, but it's like they've cut off its head <laughs> because they know. So this person wants to come towards you. They've had an awakening here and they know that they want to come towards you. What else about Paul? Yeah, they know you're their ten of cups. That's what I was feeling. They they know that this is what they want here now. They may not have known it before. They they were guarded, but they want to persevere. They've been wounded completely. They know he has a sun and the moon emblem etched in on his chest, so he knows who his counterpart is now. He is aware of it. Yeah, there's like this Ace of Cups here in that Two of Cups. It's the same. See? And it's the same as the Ace of Cups in the in this tarot deck as well. So there's this divine love that they can't get anywhere else. And they know that, you know, they put you in this. They, they closed you off. They may have kept you secret. They may have hidden, tried to hide their feelings for you. And they're willing to resurrect this. So some of you may have been in no contact for a while. Let's take a look at this heartbreak in this relationship. Oops, I can't pick up those cards. So it looks like they may have missed opportunities and they're left with their darkness and now they're getting bitten and they're realizing that they're purifying and they want a relationship here with you. Pile two's person, what does pile two's person think about them please? Oh my gosh. Watch this person. Yeah. So they have this desire to offer something passionate and to start a new path here and to go out into the wilderness, even though it looks desolate and they don't know how this is going to happen. Hold on. Sorry about that, my daughter's on lunch um yeah and so it looks desolate here but they know that even though if it seems desolate there's something that's been activated there's a fire there's a phoenix there's a resurrection in their darkness which is very much like that firefly you know they've definitely awakened to something here so they know that they have to come forward or this darkness is going to bite them Again, is really what I'm getting. We had the King of Swords that came out here with the judgment. And there's that, that hawk again. The feminine is like leading this masculine into his, his ultimate truth here. We also have this hawk sitting by his, by his feet. So this feminine energy has been really leading this masculine towards a lot of greatness where there's death and rebirth here. We have a skull and an egg and a child. Some of you may be have a child together or a child is meant to come down from heaven with this connection um it's about being naked in front of spirit and um this king of swords is like looking at that lightning bolt very much of what's this awakening this fire this awakening that he's been having and he's dropped his sight his sith his scythe his hook you know, that can be very brash and harsh and um, he's replaced it with truth, you know. So he's he's ended um, a cycle of where he's had to defend himself and kill and hurt people and all of these things into a place of like some divine truth that's coming in now. And that's because this divine feminine and spirit messages, the, the spirit has been guiding the two of you back out of this heartbreak. For a resurrection and here this is exactly why this he was avoiding this this beautiful empress I'm glad that she's come out again um, the mask you know that you're wearing that he wore this feminine broke something of an illusion and uh, it was it shattered the foundation of everything but because they turned their back to you you know they were avoiding this complete you know, the all-seeing eye. They're like, you see through this person. Completely. You see through this person. It's like this. But when you turned your back to them, you see that? 
you had to turn your back to this person and do your own thing and follow where spirit led you in this destiny you see the stars behind the divine feminine she has the magic and you and you broke this mask it had to happen in stages is what i'm getting for this union we have the yin and yang here but they're stagnant here they're not moving anywhere and we have a little bird <laughs> it was a, like, a little message from from the divine feminine a little message um to keep persevering you know for the feminine to keep persevering and when she finally turned her back and ended things and followed where the eagle was taking her she looked at this abundant tree that there was abundance in the distance that there was you know she still had her little bird here but now she had a greater bird she she traded up this little bird this little one here for this big one and realized that it's bringing more abundance and she left roses she left in love she didn't leave in anger she may have left in anger at first but she left in a place of i have to move in this direction and that caused a huge uh, tower god came down and broke that lightning and broke it all down and brought this awakening to this person and now there's love this there was love this dove of love was was with them the whole time and that's what's happening in their heart space let's see what's going on with this uh karmic energy that they may have left for somebody that was unawakened it was zazazing it was beautiful but they didn't notice all the vines they didn't notice that they were going to get trapped you know that this person was praying to a false god there's no eagle here you see there's no bird <laughs> so they were guided by material wealth money building up something their actions yeah we have the magician in reverse so yeah there was not there was some manipulation and spell work that was done here we have the ten of wands burdens that they they've been carrying this for a very long time with this third party energy and if your person's not in a third party but i do read a lot for twin flames who are in third party situations it could be that they turned their back for material wealth or a job or whatever it was so this karmic energy is uh what kept your person's eyes closed and they moved away from you for this and it's been a very heavy load they're coming home though they're almost at their destination here of carrying this and there's a parting in the sky here it's almost like they're nearing the end here and there's that statue again they don't want to pray to the statue they don't want to pray to a fake god they want the real thing they want the purity of of what spirit brings down they don't want to be binded to this anymore they want to move forward here yeah that's why god came in with this lightning bolt again with that tower right that we saw too and the horse and the and the spirit coming in to take them away on this you know, you may have horse, your person may have a horse as a Chinese ear or something. But praying to something false, this person is highly spiritual. They, they have to work in pure energy. And uh, this is definitely like a twin flame connection. And they're coming to the end of this burden here. They were manipulated here. We have the Six of Pentacles, like the symbols and the magic and where they were supposed to be they turned their back to this and decided to focus on these all these pentacles here and to try give to this but they're turning their their and i know these are astrological signs but i'm feeling that these are like magical sim symbols because we have alchemy on the back of this ma magician too but they turned their back to real magic they turned their back to real enlightenment and they were manipulated out of this garden. It's like this garden that they were in with you. And it put them in this really turbulent water uh, with these fire and this water again that we saw. I don't remember which card it was that we saw the candles. Oh, it's here. 
so we haven't even gone through it yet in the world of ending a cycle the fire and the and the water the twin flames it's the same swords here of truth that they were holding it but they couldn't see it in all of this turbulent water because they were blinded and they they turned their back to it and the spirit is saying see how this blindfold is off there's nothing holding it back here that to calm this water to know their intuition they had to face their darkness here they had to go into their darkness in order to see this abundance and to manifest properly he has all these tools to see that his wishes is coming true but it had to be very clear about how their intuition was guiding them and this was a struggle that they had with this karmic energy was to trust this intuition and their deep knowing that this connection with you the viewer would bring them everything that they wanted to manifest would bring them the the home, the community, the abundance. But when they turned their back on it, it was a lot of manipulation, spell work. This person was maybe manipulating them or the money was manipulating them that it became so turbulent for them. It became a little bit too turbulent for them. How did it become too turbulent for them? Yeah. Um, this is the king of pentacles and the emperor in reverse so they they were looking at their abundance here and their responsibilities and how to keep building but they couldn't rise in this emperor form we have the fire here too which is that phoenix that we saw with this going on a new path right that they know they have to come on a new path with you and even though to the first viewpoint that they were looking at it looks desolate it's not it's got this fire and they're realizing that this sun their illumination to the next level this is like a next level is going to take them out of their cave but they have to turn their back on cer certain things like we have the buffalo which is one of your animals here medicine healing it's a very rare connection that's going to bring about massive change because that's why we have the crow here right and for them to rise into the to have this abundance and this magic we have an onk here to come out of the darkness is that they're going to have to turn their their back on guilty pleasures of the material world because not everything is money right yeah that's what they have to do to rise into this masculine energy they have that there so let's see about ending this cycle here for a new passionate beginning here so they know what they have to do now they know that they have to move forward and end cycles in their life yeah they were deceptive here we have the they ended things they walked away they they try to save themselves. You know, sometimes with the Seven of Swords, we, we're so afraid of, like, endings and stuff. We're so afraid of, like, starting new cycles or start trying something new that we think that we can control the situation. But really, like, you can't carry all of these swords. Like, you can cover your basis only so much, but you're not, you're resisting transformation. This person was resisting transformation here. Again, there's that Three of Pentacles. They were working on something without incorporating you chiseling away at this this <laughs> this little thing is not going to do anything you know here are the real plant here's the real block that they're looking for you know here's the love here's the real piece of material they need but they turn they don't want to they want to just chisel and this chisel is small like that takes a lot of hard work like they want it it's like they chose suffering they self-sabotage this connection there's a a pattern that's running in this person's mind that they have to work really really hard but when you're in a twin flame connection you really don't have to work that hard you just have to heal yourself which is hard in itself but it's not a physical hitting a brick wall they're literally what this person was doing and again because they chose this this material wealth here they were looking to other people to like this looks like a bank you know, the bank, the institutions, the system is going to give me this money instead of looking at what nature can give you and what your natural way of being can give you. They had two offers, you know, the way of the world, concrete, 
or the way of the Garden of Eden. And they chose this, but you never left them. You know, this, this is a person that left that forest, that left the garden. See, the forest is here. And they left the garden, but they still took this fire and water here, this yin-yang. They still took this, this fire. And now they're ready to go on that trip and plan for the future, even though it looks desolate. You know, but they want to come forward because they're ending a cycle. So they, they're willing to walk through something that seems desolate, but it's their awakening. It's their sun. Again, it's that the phoenix that we saw that was rising. So I see this person wants to build and come forward. That's how they they truly feel here. They they want to clean up the deception here. Completely. They don't want to work this hard anymore. And and it's like they think they're going to ch chisel at this little piece here and they're going to build this, but it it's too hard because they're they were missing this piece and the light that was shining in, you know, and you were with them again the whole way. So they're ending a cycle completely to come towards you. Um, let's take a look at the karmic energies quickly. Let's look at them and the, towards the karmic energies. What is this person towards any karma that they're healing right now, Spirit? We're going to put all the cards back. How one's person, look at this, betrayal. So they may have been dealing with a water sign, but they know that their karmic situation caused a lot of betrayal to the viewer, but they're also causing betrayal to this other person. Um... This other person they may have been with have been trying to give them the emotional stability and they're they're still betraying them and they feel really bad about this because they're watching <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> they may still have to tell this person what they're doing and they're having, you know, that they want to birth something new. This person's turning their back, but it's like there was this person's lesson because there's a stork here. To bring in a new beginning. Yeah. And so they have to betray this person. This is their karmic lesson. To birth some anything new. Or they're going to be stuck in that snake energy. So. What is going on with Paul one's person towards any karmic energies, old habits, addictions that's holding them back from the viewer, holding them back from their path of, towards of walking with uh, pile number one. Yeah. Manipulation again. The magician in reverse. So with the karmic energies, they they're contemplating now about how to move forward. They know it was manipulation. They know that they turned their back to this Garden of Eden and they're following their intuition and turning their back to karmic energies as well. Because what we have here is if they turn their back, there's a valley. There's the two suns. It's the time of the two suns. I don't know if you've heard of that, that there'll be a pure two suns in the sky there's like a prophecy about that. I don't know the story entirely, but if you want to look that up, but they're willing to leave this one staff behind to move forward, to manifest here and get their wishes, even though it's going to be turbulent waters and they don't know where they're going. They're willing to do this for this union. So they, they are willing to follow their intuition here. Clarify the Three of Wands. Clarify the Magician. Clarify the Two of Swords. Thank you. So, yeah. <laughs> Towards the karmic energy, they're contemplating now and turning their feelings. They're blocking off their, their this poor little dolphin, who's a very sensitive soul, does, may not understand what's going on, but they may have received a message to turn their back on this now and contemplate how to move towards in their future now 
and they're sad about what they've lost but this crab is you know coming out of hiding <laughs> it's definitely a water sign you're dealing with or they may have water in their chart um and they're noticing that what they've lost they're looking at these spilled cups but they have to turn their back in order to plan to move forward so they they understand this that when they do this their ships are going to come in their heart is going to open up and they're going to be able to move forward they're going to see an alignment in the suns that are going to guide them they know that they were manipulated out of passion that they've had to tame whatever addictions could have been sex drugs whatever all of that uh, over drinking abundance money um, with this karmic energy that they didn't realize that when they turn when they were being manipulated or they're manipulating the situation uh, that this flower was blooming still right by their feet here if you see that and um, they had this tiny little candle to guide them but what they're realizing is when they turn their back to this karmic energy, there's a huge manifestation coming forward. So they're completely aware of where they actioned and what they have to do now is they actually have to action turning their back against anything that spell work or anything that they were doing to manifest before and to create something completely different in their life. Yeah because they're using their intuition with the lover's card for the union. So they're coming. They're, they're definitely ending this karmic situation. They're using their intuition. I think they're just in the beginning stages, um, but they definitely want this here. And spirit is definitely guiding. This is like the big eagle wings here. Because when they turn their backs to it, when both of you turn your backs to it, you even though you were in separation here, you felt like you were. You were still connected. You still have a vessel for each other. And even though things are turbulent, there was still clarity and a union that was happening. Even though it seems like you were closed off, you weren't really. And this intuition and, and making a decision now and seeing it clearly that this is what they want. They want this union. So th I, they are um, leaving this karmic situation is what I'm getting. So let's take a look at your oracles here. They're definitely here wanting to message you. And there's that stork that we saw. So definitely a message coming through for you. Definitely a, a telephone call we have in a bottle that they've been thinking of because they've been feeling completely left out and being guided by spirit here. Okay. They know how strong this connection is. Um, let's see their messages towards you. This is definitely a masculine energy. I have a surprise for you <laughs> so they're definitely coming through here they have a surprise for you if I could turn back time I know I would have done things differently please forgive my shortcomings so they definitely want something here and they want forgiveness they're thinking of coming back I need you to trust what I'm doing to heal I don't process and heal the same way as you so they're taking a their healing process is going to take a little bit longer than what and what you can do, they, there may be a slower way of trying to sort out their feelings because I feel this person is very analytical and it's harder for them to get into this emotional place. Plus, they've just had an awakening. We have the crow here. We have healing white buffalo. They want to return to this nectar. It's very cosmic. This is very different that they've just awakened to this, so they feel a little skittish here what they're grounding, and, but they realize that this is <laughs> very mystical and very magical. Excuse me. So, yeah, I'm doing my best to trust our love and not listen to outside influences. It's very challenging for me to stand in my truth. And that's exactly what it is that they may be going in and out. And that's why that Two of Swords card was coming out a lot here because it's they're blinded in the turbulent waters and they have to trust that intuitive nature. So. If you really want to know what's going on with your person, you guys, and this resonated with you, don't forget to like and subscribe. I am still running readings. We can go into much more detail with your person. Just send me an email for a reading, and I'm sending you so much love, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Hello, pile number two. This is for you if you picked the dragonfly and the beautiful tree pendant. It's hand-woven with the beautiful citrine stone that's in it. It's one of my favorite pieces. It's really beautiful.
put that here for you. I'm going to incorporate that dragonfly is definitely the higher uh, realms coming down for your person. And that's happening um, because uh, a dragonfly transforms when um, they're hungry, they're ready for something new. And so it's very different than a butterfly where it's, you know, it takes a longer process. This has been somewhat of a... Um, a choice because they're, they're they feel starved that they need to move forward so we're going to see the different uh, directions as well what's grounding in the energies with the wild oracle as well what's happened in the recent past and how we're moving forward so this is for pile number two please spirit what are they grounding right now they're going through a transformation they're they're already the dragonfly is what i'm hearing this person is um, getting their their things in order, is what I'm hearing for pile number two. So let's see, what are they grounding for pile number two, please, Spirit? What are they grounding? What energy are they grounding? The wolf. Yeah, they're a lone wolf. So they're definitely looking for their pack. They're looking for their people. So they know that you're part of their tribe. So they're pretty much on their own. They're transformed. They're working and coming up with a plan. They're kind of... Um, moving through different terrain on the land and gathering resources is what I'm getting. What's happened in the recent past here with pile number two? Yeah, they've been multitasking all the time, you know. Um, they didn't really have much of a backbone. So octopuses are very, you know, um, ecto, no, not ectoskeletal, but they don't have the bone structure right I can't remember the word for that um, and so they were using so many different um, <laughs> shuffling mechanisms to handle their life and something has broken in them so I'm also getting that they know that they have to work very hard in order to come towards you and to give you what you deserve and so they are working on that and near future please for it We have the raccoon, so they're still hiding and still wearing a mask. So they're pretty much on their own right now. I'm seeing that they're putting things in process. Can I have another card to clarify the raccoon in the near future? They may not be ready to come forward yet. Yeah, yeah, they're still dealing with their darkness here. We have the dragon. So this person may not be quite ready to come forward. They know that, um, they're camouflaging is what I'm getting in their world with that zebra in the near future. They still want to fit in. They don't know how you fit in, but they have transformed and they, and they know what this connection is. They are alone though. So we're going to look at any karmic energies if you're dealing with karmic energies as well, but they are dealing with a dragon as well. They have um, somebody watching them <laughs> is what I'm getting with this eye that can breathe fire and change things up very quickly. So they're trying to still camouflage themselves. I feel that they may try to scoot around this energy to come towards you, uh, but they're still somewhat wearing a mask. They haven't, they're still operating in the night. Raccoons come out at night. Yeah. So let's see what else is going on with pile number two. They've definitely transformed. They're definitely a lone wolf, but there's something that's not complete yet in their purifying process. What's going on with the pile two's person, please? That's it. Yeah. I think feel they're trying to be fair. Yeah. They feel orphaned. See, they are alone. They're completely alone. They're trying to be fair to everyone, and so I feel like they may have pulled back. They're trying to camouflage in their life still. So they're still going to be moving forward in their life, and but they know that they have to abandon it. And they've been abandoning themselves. And they don't want to multitask like this anymore. So they're trying to be fair to everybody. They've got a little owl sitting on their head with the number 11 here. This is 5, change. They know they have to change their ways. But it's like they're gaining a little bit of insight. So they're trying to balance this new beginning, this egg, and this fortune cookie, this gift here. They're just not sure how to do it yet. They're just not sure how to do it yet. So 
let's take a look and see what messages we're gonna read the messages at the end oh, there they are. what messages for pile two please we'll see if mask if they're in their masculine energy or if they're in their feminine energy right now okay you can still be if you're watching this for masculine and the black shows up it just means that they are feeling the feminine within them and this is what they're hearing from their feminine and what they wanted to, to say when you're in your masculine energy and vice versa what does pile two's person want to say to them spirit pile two those that are pile two So we have masculine and feminine energy here that's pretty balanced out here so they seem to be trying to find a balance we'll read those towards the end yeah yeah let's get some tarot I'm gonna use a different deck I'm getting pulled to use a different deck with you guys I'm gonna use my deck here What is going on with pile number two's person, please? What is going on with pile two's person? What is going on with pile two's person towards them? What they desire? What are their intentions? Thank you, Spirit. What is going on with pile two's person? in reverse that was like this sorry we're gonna clarify we have the ace of wands in reverse in the mind space clarify that please spirit we have the two of wands in reverse with the eight of cups the seven of cups please spirit in their heart space they're confused they're living in a, in a dream world right now with the sun in reverse so they're they're definitely not happy that's for certain they're definitely not happy um what is going on with their eight of pentacles their actions yeah they're trying to plan that's what i was feeling in their current action and their ace of cups they're trying to plan a way to move out of their mask they haven't breaking it broken it fully yet they don't know how to do that yet so what I'm getting here with, with your person in their mind space is that there's a lot of delays that are happening, a lot of procrastination, um, but they have made a decision that they're going to have to walk away and that's because they have awakened and they're trying to be fair to everybody and they're, they know that they're going to be causing a lot of abandoned, um, orphaned feelings of leaving people behind things, plans that they may have had in place before, but they know they have to go on this adventure to walk away. And they've made that decision. You know, this is like one wand at the back and one moving forward and going into finally going out. Um, they made a decision that they, they have to do this. Okay. They know that, uh, there's been a delay here in their heart space they're sad because they've been buying into the dreams, into the illusions, into the, you know, the zaza zing of everything. And it's not opening this door into the sun. It's keeping them in the moon's energy, into the darkness. So they, it's causing a lot of confusion for them of why they keep staying stagnant in their heart. And they know that this, like, working and they're focused on one thing. Um, they keep working on things in their life. They're focused on just one thing in their life and they're putting all of this hard work into it. But what's happening is like, it's, it's not building. So it's causing a lot of frustration for them because that's why, because they're still wearing a mask, right? They've awakened, but they're avoiding their awakening. It's a level of activation that they've hit, but now they have to integrate it and they're not putting the action in yet. They know they have to, they've made a decision that they have to, they know that they have to put this in place but I don't think they've told anybody about this yet I th still think that they're kind of hiding a little bit and um, they're just still focusing on their coin they may be a business owner or an entrepreneur 
but they're just still focusing on whatever they've been building up. And they're juggling this Ace of Cups to fill this up. This is like water falling from the heavens, you know, and trying to catch that love. And they're still struggling here. And when I made this card, it's like, here's a big old owl coming to bop this person on the end. The, and they're trying to like balance this. They're trying to teeter and keep their balance with their life. That's the outcome. And trying to just catch little glimpses of this love. They may be in and out. You may be in somewhat of a communication, but they're just very pulled back. And they're like, spirit's about to like bop this person on the back of their head. Like, wake up. And that's very much like with the, the owl that we saw here see they are getting a little wisdom that they have to be fair in this situation that they haven't fully um come out of their situation they know what they have to do but they haven't actioned anything yet is what i'm getting so let's get deeper let's see about your person they know they have to walk away but there's a delay what is this spirit yeah they're closed off they're at a crossroads about how to yeah, break off from the past, exactly. Yeah, they want a new beginning here. They know that this is a gift from spirit. When I created this, like the hand of God coming down and handing a pentacle. And he's like, yes, I'm surrendered. So this, this person has surrendered to your connection. Like I said, they're a lone wolf. Even if they're in a relationship, they're not really in it. You can be in a relationship but be completely separate and not connected to a person. It's actually one of the worst feelings in the world um it's best to be just alone than to be in a relationship and be so alone it's horrible and i feel that's the situation they're in if you're dealing with a karmic situation if not they're so focused on money or addictions or anything else that's keeping them tied um it doesn't fill them anymore and they know that this was a gift from spirit to come down here and it's putting them very much on guard you know which truth do i pick which sword do i pick up to move forward what's my truth here and they 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 absolutely know that they have to close off this past but in the past you know it may have served their inner child well they, it must have been a very loyal friend the ego had created a comfort zone you know and and it guided them this loyal friend their ego it's like they identified very strongly with their ego that's why we have this raccoon going into the future you know, it's still a comfort zone for them, that it guided them, that they didn't have to do things on their own, but that they know they have to close that off, but they're not fully actioning this, because it means that there's a lot of battling and passion, they're going to be ready for this battle when it comes down to it, and, and they're simply not ready for that, um, that's what the delay is, so they've made the decision to walk, but they're just not sure how to accept the movement forward um, because I feel like it's still a battle between their ego they're like well how can I have my cake and eat it too is what I'm getting they somewhat want it but they they don't want to let certain things go and that's what we're seeing in the heart space here let's take a look at the heart space I'll put this one on top because they know they have to walk away they're depressed, like they're definitely not happy and they're living in an illusion and a dream state. Clarify pile two, please. This person has self-worth issues. They don't feel worthy of what you bring to the table is what I'm getting. Yeah, it's a lot of unknown in this relationship with you. They may think that it's just a fantasy. That's not real. Love like that doesn't happen. This is why they're not moving. This connection brought in some type of awakening, but they're not moving. They're not letting those arrows fly. They feel almost like a complete failure here in this connection. And it's feeding on their self-worth, which is increasing the darkness in their life. Um, they think it's too hard. They're looking at the moon and they're looking at this path. There's two, there's a ravine here and it's really dark at the bottom. And the only light they have is just the very little light from the moon and it's cold and it's desolate. And they're like, how do I even move into this relationship? I know it's going to bring this balance, but I don't feel worthy enough for this. And this is why that mask is hindering this person. Um, they want to be grounded like a tree and they've transformed 
they're alone in their life so they don't they're not happy um because we do have the sun in reverse here so they're very much and the sun is kind of like the moon and you know um they haven't opened that door yet they're still in the dark here about this and it's frustrating their heart this person may have to break a little bit more let's get a little bit more for pile two please four of swords is creating separation that they're just laying there and they're not really doing much about it right now they want the they want to either be friends they want a reunion they want to celebrate for you so this person is very much torn like they want you but they can't give up certain things in their life because they're tied to that and i know that can be sometimes hard to hear but this person may have built up their physical world into a certain way that is very uh abundant for them or it's an illusion but deep down this person feels very much like a failure in this because whatever you've awakened in this person has brought up a mass amount of shadows and illusions that they were living in but all they've this person has ever known are the illusions they're used to this working so hard and multitasking here and they feel like they're giving them this person I feel is a people pleaser too. Like they, they, they can't give to themselves. They have to be fair to everybody else and it's killing them because they're not being fair to you and this connection. So their ego is telling them it's just a dream. This doesn't really happen in real life. And the more that they suppress this, they get stuck in their darkness. It's not going anywhere. That's they keep getting darker and darker. And, and it's getting worse. You see the storm is coming in. And they're just laying there. And I think they're going to allow it. I feel like this person, their non-action. This is really funny. This is funny. Um, the message I'm getting is like they want this reunion. Then be childlike with you. But it's almost like they're just allowing fate to just do it. Like, okay, I'm just going to lay here and just let everything go to crap. And just let it fall. And when the storm purifies me and that, then I'll make my move. But until then, I feel that they're pretty, um, just leaving it up to the gods, so to say, is the feeling that I'm getting from this person. Um, because we still have a lot of camouflaging energy here. Even though they've had this massive awakening of the divine feminine, we have yin yang. We have like a, I don't know what sign this is, but the triangle of masculine and to the womb here is, you know, the transformation of feminine energy that activated this masculine or vice versa the masculine that activated the feminine it's very a lot of transformation and light that gained a lot of clarity but it it it's not integrated fully is what i'm seeing the the, the integration is still happening in your connection um for them to break this mask and the way that they camouflage themselves they're still kind of in this dark and they're still kind of like, but look, their third eye is activated. So it's, it's growing. <laughs> it's this masculine energy, but it's like blocked out here. It's like they're dark and they know that this is, um, they're just doing something to fit in. And it's like, look, I'm fitting in the world, but I have this like psychedelic third eye, <laughs> but I'm so like seeing things, you know? And this color, they're showing me, Spirit is showing me, like, they, they still know this because, look, the psychedelic colors are here on the crown chakra. So they, they've had awakening in the past, but they're still trying to do everything mundane, you know? And it's, like, black and white, but then all of a sudden this color shows up, and they're like, damn. They're going to have to even um, act like a dragon in their life for some of them with karmic energies. And they don't like being this fierce, they're, the karmic energies they're dealing with is the sphere. So they know what it's like to be, you know, treated a certain way or to be, I'm sorry for the noise, guys, um, being treated a certain way or, you know, to see in color and then somebody to attack you and bring you down out of your psychedelic beauty, you know. And because they've been treated this way, they don't want to do that to other people. And that's where they get, they're getting trapped here. This person is definitely getting trapped, but they feel so alone. They feel this fire with you, but 
so alone as well. It's like that despair. I feel so alone on this ledge. No one really gets me. No one really understands me. But you do. And it's killing them. This person is in a in not the greatest place. Okay, let's keep going. Um, they're only focused on the material world right now, but whatever they're focused on, this is going to keep going. They're going to keep working, 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 but nothing is getting built. You know, we have collaboration. We have three people that this is like the Holy Trinity to me, building something, contracting something. We're going to build something magical, beautiful, that kind of floats in the air. People are never going to know what it looks like. It's going to be wild, like, you know, but they want to build. And so I feel like what they're doing is they may be focusing on finances to build so that to come towards you for this reunion. So I feel like this person is planning. I feel they're trying to balance something out to plan, um, but they're going about it the wrong way <laughs> because they're trying to still do it wearing a mask. You know, they're not being fully honest. They have to kind of rip the bandaid off and they're scared to. So let's clarify that. Yeah, they're in, they're in a lot of pain here, pile three. Yeah, I saw this on the bottom of the deck and it's come out, the ton of wands. So, let's take a look. We have the three of swords. So, this is, when I create this card, a really painful. Sitting here in pain and allowing the swords to penetrate. So, they're sitting in this pain. It could be a third party. If not, it's something else that they're choosing. Third party doesn't mean it have to be a person. But it's keeping them very stuck on their path with the Knight of Pentacles. Um, they feel completely broken down with the Nine of Wands. Right? Wounded. Not able to persevere. Not able to move anywhere. And this is why I was feeling like that with that Four of Swords energy. They're just going to lay there. And they're like how a pig lays in crap. You know? I'm hearing that. They're like, well, I'm not good enough for this anyways. I may just lay in my bed. I made it. Let's just lay in the stinky dung and just deal with it is what I'm seeing. And then if it's meant to be, it'll come. So I know that can be a little triggering and a little hard to hear, but um, I don't think that's going to happen for long. I don't think they realize that the universe is not going to um, build up anything for them. Everything that they've built is going to fall apart. They're going to have to take, I'm hearing, a second loan on their house or take out investments out of their savings. And they're trying to catch up and keep up with that, with that octopus energy, you know, multitasking and trying to make it happen because they're fighting, integrating this awakening. They think that they can do everything by themselves and to give to everybody else in their life instead of giving to themselves is what I'm getting with your person. And so they're very sad and regretful. They feel like they're they're wilting away here. Not noticing that there's another little flower blurred out in the back when I made this. Like, I'm another flower. I'm like, wait, right here. And they feel completely wilted and burdened. You know, they, they could listen to this intuition, that spirit to, to that's whispering in their ear, in their right ear, which is masculine energy. And to be this like antlers, you know, the elk, the masculine to like bucket and to go and to be persevere, you know, and to be like, yes, I got this and to guard themselves, their heart as they persevere. But if there is a progression happening here. They haven't gotten there yet because they feel completely wounded right now. But we have the nine and the ten. So there is progression of them ready to walk down that hill. So this person can't hang on to this much longer is what I'm getting. Um in this regretful energy and working so hard to build something that things just aren't happening, that they have to kind of break down other finances because they're completely heartbroken. But this heartbreak is kind of what I'm seeing with Christ's energy when he wore the thorns on his head, you know, that's what he's doing. He feels he has to sacrifice and suffer. But your person has to come out of that. It's getting too hard to stay in it. That's why this 10 of wands is here. And that's why things are breaking down. So I'm going to clarify just a little bit more. Because I feel like they are going to wake up. Yeah, they're king of cups. They they haven't been able to stand in that water and completely, like, allow themselves to be surrendered to their emotions. They're still blocked. So let's take a look and see what else is coming in the outcome here. Because we have this ace of cups coming, water falling from the heaven. you got to kind of catch that. 
you know they may have like run out and missed it they feel they caught a little bit in their cup but it hasn't filled up yet and they're about to you know they're trying to keep everything <laughs> intact I, uh, I know when you go through awakening that there's times when you're like oh yeah okay well obviously I don't have to give up my career for this and some people have to so if you're guided to you have to it's like yeah well it's taken away from you um it's like they don't see this fire is stoked in the back here. Like, look at where your light is. You're sitting in this darkness facing, trying to balance and keep everything in kosher with on one leg. Like, how long can you sit in this position? That's hard. You can't sit in this position. And this owl is going to come into bonk. And it's a giant owl, like bonky in the back of the <laughs> This person's about to have a second awakening. I'm sorry, I shouldn't laugh. Um, but it's true. <laughs> because they're they're avoiding they're still trying to fit in, right? Clarify the outcome for this person in pile two. Yeah. Tone it. They're about to be betrayed by their own actions. Yeah, exactly. 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 Okay. We have the nine and the ten of swords here. So them avoiding their pain it's not going to happen. They're trying to avoid when I created this card. It's one of my favorite cards. I don't know. The nine of swords. I don't know why I love this card, but I do. Um, the subconscious patterns are coming up and you see how they're coming up. It's like things are being revealed of their own patterns. You see? And it's like, Oh my God, their eyes are just about to be uncovered, you know, just about to be uncovered at this water's edge. And they're like, Oh my frigging God. I had built up, this is coming into the surface, all of this illusion that they're trying to avoid that. But the Ten of Swords is coming. They're betraying themselves. And this moth is about death and it's lying in this pool of water here, but it's in darkness that it's dead. This moth is dead. And the only way is to rise up. So this Ten of Swords, it's a progression. This Ten of Swords uh, avoiding they're trying to, you know, avoid and keep doing what they've been doing all this time is about to take them down even further because things are not working anymore. Their money's not coming in. Things aren't happening in their life. They're trying to hold this, you know, but the owl is coming in. God's coming in. Spirit's coming in. And it's very much about to, like, break it down and that they're going to have to be broken. Sometimes we have to be broken right to the end before you can, like, psh, rise. And that's what's happening here in this this connection. He, they have to ground it so things, what they've been hanging on to is about to fall. And like, look at this. They're sitting here waiting. The egg has been cracked open. The new beginning has been shown to them. I know it's a, a tree, but it's withering away here. We have two butterflies that are here that are being transformed. One's already in the light. See how this light is shining down. One's already in the light of God here, shining down. The other one's like, maybe I should go over here. It's facing. Maybe I should go over here because what we had is, is withering away. And we need to bring life back to this. And they're, they're waiting, you know, for their investments here. To reap the benefits, but nothing is growing either. And we have the Page of Swords. And this is about discovering the truth. We have a big sword here. And it's about picking up that sword and being truthful and communicating and discovering new things and being willing to going on this journey. And, you know, she's got all these different stones, all these different things that she has to learn about. You know, what does this stone mean? What does this mean? What does this mean? What does this mean? And she hasn't quite learned to everything. So there's a discovery process that they've been blocking as well, which is why that ten of swords, they're betraying themselves that eventually they're going to have to go deeper. This is the hermit calling them. They're going to pull back and have to go through their darkness with this light to find it. So everything is breaking down. I'm surprised I didn't see the tower. I'm going to pull one more. What else, spirit? Yeah. It's going to hit them in the finances and their physical world. Oops. I don't want to take that many. I'll take the one that fell. And this one wanted to come out because I felt it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. We have the uh, King of Pentacles in reverse with the Ace of Swords in reverse and that Page of Wands. It's uh, a new spiritual path here, okay, of uh, being different, 
okay, walking that, that path, uh, and a fiery new option of coming forward. But we have here like this um, King of Pentacles in reverse. It's like, it's unstable. You're not gonna be able to ground that harvest because you're suppressing the truth. So it's gonna hit them where it hurts, is what I'm getting here. Yeah, to see if there's anything else coming up. Yeah, let's take a look at what's going on. Um, we're gonna put these back in the deck. We're gonna see what's going on with them towards any karmic energies that are um, keeping them in this place and keeping and how they're doing with it because they're about to break. Um, it's not. It's not working out for them, okay? So it's just a matter of time is what I'm seeing, pile number two, with your person. There's only so much that they can be in this place. Uh, they're about to fall uh, even deeper into their darkness. They're going to have to pull back and go through their purification. So you guys keep doing what you're doing. Um, they are still resisting um, to fit into their world and they're they're like they're a unique creature they're not going to fit into their world what is pile number two's person how are they dealing with their karma right now <laughs> interesting got a little bit more we have the empress showing up so that is divine feminine. So they know here, okay, the middle of this reading here for their karma is the five of pentacles in reverse. Sorry, the four of pentacles in reverse um, that they have to open up and let go of this karmic energy. Okay, so this is what they're dealing with right now. Um, they know that nothing is birthing. Nothing new is coming into this energy because it's not the empress energy. Only the Empress can bring in this abundance. Only she can stand in this Garden of Eden and work with massive abundance and bring in this, there's like a little baby or something in there, um, in this little globe that she, only she hangs on to this magic and only she can birth this. And um, it's in reverse. So they know in this karmic energy, nothing is going to be new. So they are ending their pain here. They're trying to, but I feel this is more of a suppression we're going to clarify that. Um, they have to end their pain here. They know that. And they have to let go of the situation and the foundation and let that break apart. They can't hang on to this anymore. It's going to burn their hand. Okay, the structure here that they were trying to build. You know, when your heart and your head are in alignment, you can build things, but they're not in alignment. So their their heart is not in this situation because their heart is with the viewer and they they simply um don't know how to move this forward in any kind of way and uh they know that this karmic situation whatever it is if it's a job or a contract or a marriage or whatever it is they can't be in it much longer it's it's there's the two pentacles again remember they they're gonna soon they're, the owl's gonna hit them on the head they're, they're not gonna be able to juggle this much longer and they are going to go down fighting so this there is a tower i'm surprised the tower hasn't shown up um but spirit is saying this is when i made this card it's not just fighting they're not fighting it they're gonna it's training it's training to go on an adventure it's it's battle time but it's training time and so this is what they need to learn how to walk through this darkness in order to come towards you the viewer okay and that's why they're alone here they're very much alone we have the hermit card too right they have to be alone to learn this about themselves because they need to uh rise up on their own no one can do that for them so let's clarify this empress yeah they know that you're that ace of cups so they know that nothing is going to birth until they accept this and because they have to end their their heartbreak in this karmic situation they have to cut they're trying to be fair to everybody they have to reveal the truth okay we have the uh sorceress here which is the high priestess they have to open up that curtain and open up and be strong to speak up about what they know about what they want in their life 
and this is where they they are over giving they're trying to be as kind to everybody as much as possible but they're finding it very difficult because they're suppressing themselves for everybody else and they can't do that for much longer it's causing a lot of issues um, so they are completely aware of this karmic situation. They're going to have to end it. These two want to come out together, obviously. We have the Ace of Pentacles. They know that this is, they can't build here. That this beginning um, and starting anything new in the physical in the current situation can't happen because they're feeling that this new beginning, this egg is with the Divine Feminine is with the viewer and they're feeling feminine energy that the new birth process is with the divine feminine which is that empress there with that ace of cups and that this is completely unstable here that this isn't an offering from god this is this is taking from them so they have to let this go so this person is aware of their karma they are completely aware of it so they know what they need to do they're just at a um, trying, they're trying to figure out, I'm seeing in this planning, what I keep picking up is like, they're almost trying to have their cake and eat it too in a way, but like, how can they like still be okay with, how can they still be okay in the old ways and still incorporate this into, into their life? And that's not a thing. That's why this foundation is about to break because they have to let this go. Like, they just have to let it go. Like, that's just how it is because this is not going to be something that they're going to be able to maintain. That Two of Pentacles is in reverse. They're about to, they're not going to be juggling this. Yeah, they're going to be forced to move forward very quickly. So, their time is coming, pile number two, <laughs> with this karmic energy is soon ending and coming to an end here. They're going to have to move through it because they've been stagnant and stuck with that Eight of Wands again in reverse for you guys. So definitely pile number two, um, it looks like in their situation, they are going to be moving forward. They're just trying to figure out a way and whatever ways they have to, what I'm seeing is like all of those different options. I'm seeing the seven of cups in my head, like all of those different options that they're looking at. They have to almost go through each one to figure it out, to be like, okay, I should have just known that I should have done, just done this from the beginning. But they almost have to do it by process of elimination. Your person is very analytical too. So like they have to do it by process of elimination. Clarify that where they're stuck and moving forward in this energy. Yeah, it's a detachment. It's a codependency with that nine of pentacles. The way that they, their comfort zone, right? It's hard to leave comfort. But remember in comfort, nothing grows. You have to change to grow. So let's take a look at what their battle. They're going to be fighting and in training in the outcome with this karmic energy. It's not going to heal, okay? Yeah, that four of swords. <laughs> they may have to sit in this. Um, it's not healing. They know it's not their destiny with the star in reverse. But again, this is part of their strategy is what I'm seeing right now is that they're just laying there and not going on this new path with the page of wands to just allow the fighting to happen they're allowing it to happen because they feel like if they <laughs> the person they're dealing with is what i'm getting if it is a third party is like if they just don't respond to it and let them fight and they can hold a very still place of healing in that place their light is enough and their non-action is enough to get this person to walk away is what i feel your person is hoping that they'll just be like screw this you're not doing anything in this relationship i'm i'm gonna make the decision and i'm out i almost feel that they're just purposely doing that but i feel that that's an option that isn't quite working they're going to have to action something here <laughs> yeah that's what i'm really feeling that they're just like okay just keep fighting do whatever you hell you want clarify that four of swords like they're gonna yeah it's um they're not doing anything for the foundation they're letting everything fall apart this is not their nine of cups we have that three of pentacles in reverse in this situation so they're definitely yeah ten of ten of pentacles in reverse it's a home life a foundation they're just letting it completely break apart. They may even be refusing to pay bills or like, I don't have money for that. Sorry. And, and they're just being very passive and it's, a, it's, they're hoping that this will break it up 
and they're just holding this amount of strength um, that they may actually have to, you know, reveal why they are doing this. This is what they're trying to avoid because they're trying to still stay in this situation. That's what I'm getting with this raccoon. That's why they're camouflaging themselves. They're being watched. They don't want to fight, but they're, <sighs> yeah. And they're putting other plans in place. Yeah, that's what I'm getting, pile number two. Let's see what your messages from your person are. This is uh, feminine energy towards you. They're feeling feminine energy within them. And the message is, I know our love is beyond this world. And maybe the world isn't ready for our love. I'm struggling with the depths I feel for you. And that's exactly what I was feeling. They're like, is this just a dream? You know, and I feel that's why they're not really putting action in actually ending the situation. They're just not being non-actionary in it and allowing it to just play out and hoping that it'll end. They know this connection with you, like completely. Um, but they're like, is this really real? So they're struggling with that as well in their transformation process. The masculine is saying... I know we are mirrored souls. I know we were created as one. So they know logically, they know in their essence, um, in their mind, it's their heart that they're struggling with. And this aspect that they have of pleasing people, like if it's just a dream, I have responsibilities. Maybe I should just stay where I'm at. And if it's meant to be, maybe this will just fall apart. And if it's meant to be, you know, you did transform them, but maybe I should just stay abandoned and feeling alone. So they're still having self-worth issues here. We have feminine energy within them saying we are meant to be. So the voice of the feminine is speaking very deeply within them saying we are meant to be. <laughs> this person wants to talk to you. You may get a message for some of you. They may want to talk to you to see if this is still alive for you. Uh, that they're still feeling something. Um, yeah. All right, pile number two. That is your reading. If you'd like to know more about your person and more detail, please book me for a reading. I'm only open till the end of June. And uh, you can do that by an email. And comment if this resonated with you. And I'm sending you guys so much love. Bye. Hi, pile number three. This is your reading to see what's going on in your connection, how your person is feeling towards you. We're going to look at karmic energies as well. And whoa, the rain and the wind just started. You could probably feel that. So this is uh, just started. If you go back and listen to the other piles, it was completely dead. <laughs> no wind, no nothing. Um, this is definitely about a twin flame connection with the swans that came out. We're going to incorporate that into your reading. That is the north, uh, the overall higher power that is coming down. And this is your beautiful agate clear crystal. I don't know what stone it is, but it's one of my favorites. And uh, it's clear, it's just very beautiful. So that is part of your reading as well. Let's see if we can kind of make that look nice and pretty there for you. Okay, so we're going to get um, some other messages from the Wisdom um, the Animal Wild Oracle, Wisdom Oracle, or the, sorry, the, the Wild Oracle, the Animal Oracle. Um, we're going to see what's grounding. This is definitely a very sacred connection, twin flame connection, higher soul connection. There's a mirroring aspect that's going on between the two of you. Let's see what else is going on, and we're going to get karmic energies as well. Um, my energy is very different today, so we're going to be doing a different kind of reading today. So let's see what is going on for pile three, please, with their person. We have purification because that wind has picked up. I don't see a cloud in the sky, though, but there's definitely a massive storm coming. So there's a lot of purification coming in for this connection. Father Wind is working very strong in your connection to move things, move obstacles is what I'm hearing from Pile 3. What is going on? What is being grounded right now, Spirit, in this connection for Pile 3 for my viewers? We've got two. Yeah, exactly what I was feeling with the phoenix rising, coming out of the desert, the camels with the purification and rising um, very strongly out of survival mode. 
camels, you know, uh, can go for a very long time without water, without emotions, without feelings. This is what their person has been doing. They may have been numbing themselves. They may have been just walking desolate through the desert in the darkness trying to you know just survive and they're sick of this and they are transforming so their awakening is definitely being transformed here let's see in the recent past what was going on with them we have the horse so you're dealing with a very free spirit so they may be freeing themselves bucking not wanting to follow any type of systemic ways or how things are supposed to be they're following their intuition we have this moon here this crescent moon they could be uh muslim or um follow that faith for some um is what i'm getting not for everyone but there is definitely um something with the crescent moon and following their intuition and their knowing that uh, a piece of their intuition that even though they've been in survival mode for a long time is that they've realized no like this hasn't left me this connection hasn't left me i'm ready to like rise out of this i'm a free spirit no one can tell me what i can and cannot do this horse is very um robust very strong i'm seeing like a working horse they work hard and they're like no one can just take my hard work ethic the way that my ethics are how i am as a person can take that away let's see what's going on in their near future energies what's coming for this person for pile three the mask this came up for pile two as well so they may still be wearing a mask and still hiding from certain things let's see what else for pile three in near future they're removing this obstacle though yeah so the elephant are very uh, highly intuitive. So in the near future, they may still wear a mask with certain people, but I don't feel they want to wear a mask in this connection anymore. We have here this elephant with this fire. This person takes what, they, what they've learned in their consciousness. This person has been working on themselves is what I'm getting. Because what I'm getting with this crescent moon here whatever this connection with the mirrored souls has brought through the swans right the twin flame connection has brought through they haven't forgotten this that's activated their pineal gland and the fire that they're grounding they know that that's going to take them through the future in alignment with their pineal gland so see how this one's fully activated now so as they move into the future they know that what happened in the past what happens in the present and what happens in the future is always going to be with them this connection will never leave them and so they have the broken tusk here which is also ganesh i have um ganesh here although i don't have a broken tusk i know <laughs> It's fine <laughs> i should get that fixed but anyways um but this is like the removal of energy uh of dark energy of obstacles because they're carrying their phoenix rising light that they have now found in their intuition uh that they don't have to suffer in their desert land anymore by themselves to, to remove the masks of their life they may realize that the feminine energy is the one that helps them or their spiritual path um moving forward here we also have the beaver willing to work hard and we have the elk the elk is a very stag is very you know gonna bunt brunt bunt is what i'm hearing move forward and push and move forward through no matter how you know there's an eclipse energy that we've just gone through may have pushed them forward to be like no i'm gonna work for this i'm gonna build something i'm going to follow my free spirit and i'm going to remove this mask they're working their hardest in the near future to continuously remove the mask so they may not have been honest with you pile number three they may not have told you how they felt they may have been really hiding in this raccoon but they know in the near future they're going to have to remove this it's still there so be mindful if this person shows up that they're still not hiding who they really are that they're willing to remove this and they may come to you because they know this mirrored connection is helping them to see who they really are and they're lost without you in their life is really what i'm getting because they know that whatever you guys are going through uh you mirror so who you become they become you know um if you're two healers you're both going to heal together if you're both musicians you're going to be musicians together if you're both novelists you're going to write together if you're both doctors you're going to be 
healing together or one's a nurse or one's a there's something very mirrored about this connection that it doesn't matter like you're both gonna be the same to move it's it's um or it's very complimentary that way but the the mission is the same so let's see what else is going on for pile number three please don't forget to like and subscribe you guys what is going on for pile number three with their person what is going on for pile three please spirit Get one there we have three so this is going to take some time for their happiness this is in divine timing with the fate card that's come up um a new doorway has just opened up for this person six and love a new doorway into love so they have to clean things up they have to be very present in their moment they have to deal with whatever's presently been um they've been living in their current moment they can't really leave things behind they they have to be very authentic with what they're doing in their life what they're manifesting in their life and how to clean up certain things so they know that this is divinely protected and that the fates have this in their hand and it is under divine timing and they're taking that time to heal as well let's get some messages from your person which we'll read at the end the um the black is the divine feminine and the white is the divine masculine and uh, depending on what shows up is your person either feeling the messages within them or what they're feeling for themselves towards you so for instance most of my viewers are divine feminine so if the black shows up and your person is a divine masculine and again it's not gender based guys but they're a divine masculine the black is that they're hearing those messages within themselves within their feelings within their emotions and vice versa so what is going on what messages for what is going on for pile three what is the person's messages to pile three please spirit i feel like there's like one more yeah so it's a lot of they're really feeling divine feminine energy here I'm going to just see if I can move that there. You may not be able to see the beaver that well, but there. There you go. <laughs> I just want to make sure you guys can see that. Okay, so we'll read those messages towards the end of your reading and again if you guys want to do a reading with me just send me an email if any of this resonates so let's take a look we are going to use light seer's way tarot let's see what is going on Ooh, we have a card in here greed hmm this person may have been greedy in the connection and a little selfish so let's see what comes up about that we'll put that there that's interesting because i shuffled the deck before and did not see it so i shuffle always in between as well so that's fascinating i did not see it I always clear before i do a reading um so funny all right let's see what is going on with pile three's person they may have been a little selfish towards you and uh they know who you are though and they know this person knows what they have to do um they are removing obstacles right now okay we'll see what's going on with the karmic situation too what is going on with pile three's person thank you what is going on with pile three's person towards them yeah there was betrayal here we have the ten of swords with the star taking them a little bit to come out they almost don't want to talk they have a resistant energy right now because they're taking their time to heal is what i'm hearing they don't want me to tap into it we have the queen of cups see they're definitely healing something can i have one more thank you okay we've got eight of cups with the queen of cups that's karmic energy there walking away okay 
Let's take a look at the Clarify the Ten of Swords. The High Priestess with the Knight of Wands in reverse. Let's clarify the star. Queen of Wands. Clarify the Queen of Cups. Got quite a bit here. Uh, this is in a challenged position, their strength. They don't have the courage yet, so let's see. Okay. They're having trouble walking away. All right, this is what's going on with you guys. A little bit more complicated uh, pile three <laughs> is what I'm seeing. A little bit more complicated than um, what I've been seeing in the other group. So um, there was massive betrayal here. They turned their back to you and they just allowed all this darkness to just take them away. Um, but because of that, they know that the only way that they can go up is up. They, they are getting, look at this, this half moon is very, see, they're following their intuition here. This half moon or this crescent moon, again, keeps showing up here. Okay. So their intuition is activated. They are following their intuition. Spirit has brought that up very clearly in your reading, um, in regards to this. So they're definitely, um, being activated here. In their third eye they're not quite actioning anything yet they also don't want to be this in and out energy because they know this horse uh, has gotten them in trouble before their free spirit they have to learn to tame their free spirit you know unfortunately it's great that you know we're free spirits and we can you know we can be a little ruthless if we're too much of a free spirit so they know that they have to tame that with you so they don't you know just follow that fire that can can burn you you know and it's burnt them in the past and they've realized they've burnt you and they have to be very stealth and follow this intuition that's being activated i feel this person's been meditating a lot about your situation and if they haven't been talking to you it's because they've been really going within and following this this channel that's coming in see how this is coming into that third eye there's probably a lot of dreams lately. There's probably a lot of activation happening, a lot of Kundalini rising. They're really looking at this um, gateway with you. And they know the betrayal that the only way to go is up. That's the good thing about the Ten of Swords. It's like the only way that you can go is up. So they know in their heart space that they desire you. Okay, they feel this way. <laughs> I feel this is you in the Queen of Wands. Sometimes the spirit tells me it's the karmic, but it's not in this case. They they're, they have a cat sitting there in this card. That cat is their intuition. They know how they feel with you. It feels magical. It feels fiery. They see you as this amazing intuitive person sitting in their power with all this, you know, beautiful candle lit, lit energy around. And they know that this is their destiny. They've been wishing for this and they, they want to pull this down. See how they're holding the string. They've never let go of this pile, two, pile three. They've never let go of this. This is the cosmos. This is what they've been channeling with this energy. See all the stardust stuff that's coming down. This energy is coming into them. They're completely aware of it. And so they definitely want this with you. Okay. Their challenge is to gain the strength in their actions right now, but they definitely feel, look at this third eye again, this is why I picked this deck, obviously, that it's breaking these chains. Do you see how there's these webs, these vines of darkness that were keeping them in a way of a thought process? See how this is completely broken, this string? See how these are tied? So it's, this kundalini is rising up and it's breaking all of these old threads that they feel this complete desire and, and passion now for you. And the challenge with this Queen of Cups, because they're definitely feeling Divine Feminine Energy. They know you're their queen. You have a crown here. They're feeling this with the third eye, with the, the little 
necklace thing on her forehead this cup of love that being submerged in their emotions they're about learning to balance these emotions now completely and but the challenge is to gain the strength here and the reason for that is because here when it's upright when they gain their courage they actually have to sacrifice something here is what this is like lambs to the slaughter and they have to actually sacrifice something i feel from their egoic ways which is part of this mask that they've been wearing here and in order to do that um they're going to have to let something go and we're going to go into that in a bit so they they may have to take this mask off here to find their heart and to sacrifice this lamb and that's their challenge they're they're not quite there they they're not uncurried they're building it up this courage and their feelings so it's definitely stoking the fire i've been getting that a lot lately they're definitely at a place that they're almost ready to rise and come towards you the outcome here is this karmic energy of completely blocking out this karmic energy is what i'm getting so karmic energy doesn't have to be third party but i do do a lot of twin flames and karma goes with twin flames so um it's probably a third part it well it is something that's keeping them from their light so whatever it is for you um, i read it as relationship so there is a person here that they are blocking in the queen of swords because it's a very narcissistic energy and very cold energy that they know that whatever was lit in this bowl they don't feel it anymore they're walking towards the sun they're turning their back and they're walking towards the sun here it's very heartbreaking because they've hurt a lot of people, they've hurt themselves, and they've hurt two other people, okay? But this is not their wish fulfillment. They may have thought it was their treasure. They felt like this maybe at one point with this person. You notice how it never rained? The wind just came in? Did you see that? That was intense. It's completely sunny now. <laughs> um, I just wanted to say that, and the birds are out again. Um, but this is like under this water they were submerged i've never noticed this if you see this like waves here so they were submerged into this illusion of 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 emotion that wasn't real that promised them treasure and money and all of these other things but it didn't come true their wishes did not were not fulfilled in another connection and they have to walk away from it and it's caused a lot of pain pain for uh, this person may have a tattoo that they were with on their arm or your person does or you do but that may be significant because i'm getting pulled to that but it's like it was dead this is like desolate nothing was growing here um, it completely ripped it into three parts this heart is ripped into three parts and is being pulled into different directions very painful energy Whew, that's very painful energy and that's that suffering here that this person was was walking through for a long time i don't know how long camels can go in the desert without water but they can go quite a long time without feeling anything and that's what your person was doing they weren't feeling you they weren't feeling this person they weren't feeling anything and that's why spirit has come in with the fates card and the divine timing and that they have to clean up this mess now and be very present in their moment the present moment to clean up certain things and uh this was the greed that's why that card came up they may have picked other things in their life um thinking that they they want this you know um this nine of cups this treasure that was happening and it wasn't they have to be now like this elephant in the stag to push through the mask of their illusions to build something authentic with you and they have to keep that greed and that ego in check is what i'm getting so yeah let's see what's going on with your person towards you we have the five of cups on the bottom so there's a lot of regret here that their ten of cups is gone so let's take a look here with this ten of swords towards you and their in and out energy that they have to really follow their intuition and their deep knowing now spirit we have three of wands in reverse They have, they're going to apologize they want to come forward here so we have the three of wands in reverse so everything in their life wasn't what they expected they betrayed themselves they betrayed you they betrayed everyone in their life this person really feels like they messed up 
okay they know that it wasn't what they expected they thought they were following their future they thought they were following something but it was a lie it was a complete lie it was under the water away from air i couldn't grow nothing can grow without air it's submerged and uh they had to realize that it wasn't what they were expecting they went on they were waiting to go on this adventure and big plans and it was going to be fun and exciting but nah it didn't end up being that way it was seven of cups in reverse the dream ended you know their illusions ended and then they realized the betrayal that they caused you that you weren't uh you were in this this crescent moon you were in this Intuitive, intuitive knowing that they were denying this whole time they were acting like that free spirit that wild horse you know that that was everything that was how everything was going to be and it caused them a lot of instability in their life uh their coin their money the the wolf you may want to look at pile two there was a lot about the lone wolf and not being able to take off a mask so it may resonate for some of you depending on where you're at in your journey but they didn't listen to themselves, to the wolf. You know, there's a saying, you listen to the good wolf or the bad wolf, like what wolf are you willing to feed? And they fed the dark wolf and it, it created a lot of instability and they realized that they have to come forward and offer you something. <laughs> I almost feel like they said to themselves like, oh, I'm not coming back until pigs fly. And I almost feel like they saw a pig fly. Not literally, but they saw something and it made them laugh and they realized, oh my God, if I see this, I feel like they felt, if I see this, if the spirit tells me that this happens and this manifests in my world, then I know that I have to come forward to this person. I feel that that happened. Whatever was absolutely impossible that would show up in their reality with this pigs flying, like, oh, I'm not going to do it till pigs fly. It's helping them ascend. <laughs> that spirit actually brought this to them and showed them something and was like, yeah, no, it is a real thing. And so I think that solidified something for them that they have to look at the betrayal that they cause and end the, the illusions and realize that this is actually real. This is real. And they want to come forward and apologize here is what I'm getting. They want to offer you something now. They want to come forward. I'm going to get something else on that. They want to come forward with this an apology. Yeah, they want union. They want the a foundation with you four of wands i want to celebrate marriage coming together building this beautiful you know um house and home and look how it's in the desert you know it almost feels like they've walked through the desert walk through the desert on a horse with no name na 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 stay out of the rain right and or and i'm also hearing hey mr tambourine man <laughs> so it's like almost even if they're in the desert it's like and they're suffering and they don't have the emotions if they built a home with you you could you would bring water to them and feeling and emotion and livelihood so it doesn't it doesn't bother them they can be in anything with you and they want this union with you wow so they know that they see you as this beautiful queen of wands here they see you with the fire. They they want a future with you. Queen of Pentacles. The Emperor. They they see how you're actioning your life is what I'm getting. I'm not feeling that's karmic energy at all. Yeah. They haven't given to the situation. They wanna they wanna um take responsibility now and clean it up. So what I'm getting here is they see you sitting in your beautiful light, holding your fire, holding your magic, really um, taking a hold of your life, your path. You're following your destiny. They're like, I want to be like that. They're over there, like pulling that down. I want to, I want to, I want my destiny now. I don't, nothing's moved in my life. I feel like where, wherever they left, whatever you left your person, nothing's changed. I feel like when they come back, they're going to be like, nothing's really changed for me in the time that we haven't talked or nothing's progressed in this other situation or nothing's progressed in my life like it's pretty much the same like what's going on with you like i see you're like blowing up over here 
and they want that and they know that they've missed out that's why they they're really cleaning things up in their life with this portal that's opened and that they're staying really present to make this happen to clean it up because they want union they want family they want everything they want foundation they know that they pushed away their queen of pentacles right they created instability for you and for them because we have the king of pentacles in reverse here right so they created instability because they chose the wrong wolf right and they realized that when you defy an empress that way she's she's grounded she's got big money she's got big knowing she's got these antlers like this you know she's like the personification of the feminine version of the elk she'll move through obstacles she doesn't need to be a you know a coddled woman you know but this masculine denied that and and pushed that away and yeah pretty much realized that he has to you know uh, put in an end the cow's head you know sacred medicine and put an end and take control of the situation now and be that emperor and be that masculinity to come forward and charge forward because he hasn't given he's been non-reciprocal here he's been dealing with non-reciprocal in his life he's been dealing with a lot of burdens that he's trying to clean up here he's just tired of suffering he's he may be moving out of a home right now and he may be completing that he may be closing a deal on a home i'm hearing for some he's purchased he's moving out of a karmic situation he's uh getting his own place so so he hasn't been able to give until he can get this new place because he wants to have you over he wants to wine and dine you he uh that, that's really what i'm getting because he hasn't given to you but he had to clean up his mess and he's now on the move to do this is what i'm getting because he wants foundation with you he wants this destiny it's in his heart um I'm gonna grab one more he's definitely risen in his heart as this masculine energy um in a really beautiful way um let's clarify that that he wants to um build home that he's building a home and moving yeah he wants his empress that's all i need to say that's all that needs to come out you're his match you're twin flames you are the counterpart to him and he wants that and he feels it and he's gonna this masculine is going to do anything he has walked through the desert he he can keep going for a long time as long as this takes he is not backing down is what i'm getting he has risen and this is happening in his physical world he is grounding that mirrored ener energy and he's definitely moving forward with his divine feminine so his challenge right now is the strength and the courage to sacrifice something he has to sacrifice something he's feeling the divine feminine he's balancing it out he's ready to he's got a lot of passion for for the viewer he really wants to move forward but he doesn't have that courage yet he has to sacrifice something what does he have to sacrifice yeah he has to end family patterns yeah before he can return here karma okay we got the world the wheel the ten of pentacles we have yeah massive karma ending there's a lot of conflict happening in his life right now a lot of changes that are happening that he's actioning right now with his decisions that's why he has to sacrifice something for this wheel to turn he knows that he has to completely go against how he was raised what his family and friends think what people around him are saying i think there's a lot of people around him that have he has been loyal to for a long time and they're like all these lanterns here in the sky you know sending out manifestations prayers and and working with these people energetically could be a tribe could be a family could be that they do a lot of things together to build dreams could be a plan that he had in place with the with the marriage that they had a five-year plan or something that we're going to do this at this time and things aren't going to plan and he has to end it because he knows that nothing's moving and and getting that the wheel is starting to turn now fate has come in and it's causing a lot of conflict about this masculine really wanting to return to this divine feminine what are these family patterns in the conflict here spirit we're going to look at the karmic situation a bit a lot of regret five five okay guys so lots of ten coming to a completion lots of regret he's they're trying to make him feel guilty for what he's doing in his life with the darkness look at this the moon right the five of cups uh he's trying to bring out 
he's trying to, you know, whatever was buried, he's trying to resurrect it. <laughs> you know, he doesn't want these other cups. He's trying to like find this one that he buried deep down. It's causing a lot of conflict. It's like he he's been suffocating. See, that's that nine of cups. It's it's there's a it's underneath the water. It was suffocating, very suffocating situation and very dark and realizing that's not what he wants. But and so he's fighting this. Wow. Wow. Look at the major arcana that are out just in this one in this one section. Temperance. He's balancing. Do you hear that? You hear the birds? Those are parrots, I believe. Um, and balancing this out and, and the tower, letting it fall apart because he knows it's dark and following his intuition through the darkness we have two dogs here the loyalty here that he's letting it fall because he needs to return to the past and that's his fate and he can't listen to anybody else and he's not he's holding patience he's holding he's gained his wings is what i'm hearing from spirit this masculine has earned he has earned his redemption he's risen that's his phoenix <sighs> He's learned what greed has done to him, that the love is more important, God's love is more important, so that he can actually come forward now, is what I'm hearing. And um, he's allowing the awakening to happen and to break apart this darkness. He's letting the wheel turn, even though it's causing a lot of chaos, a lot of conflict. We're going to look at the karmic situation. He's definitely, yeah. Spirit's like, let's keep moving forward. Um, he's definitely working on this. The wheel is definitely moving in his favor now. So he just has to rise up and he's gaining that courage. He's not quite there yet. He has to finish sacrificing the last little bit of his loyalty to the past. And when he can do that is when he's going to rise up fully. So there, he's still in the process of cleaning up some final energies. But it, I don't think it's a big deal to be honest it's the moment the wheel has turned so it's moving in his favor now so it's definitely going to move um as he progresses and stays strong and he'll gain more faith and confidence as that wheel turns so we have here he's walking away from karmic energies painful suffocating situations third party situations he's definitely walking away from that clarify that spirit where he's been trapped we have two eights which is abundance and death definitely yeah for a new beginning wow oops sorry hit the camera uh, so yeah definitely um he's walking away from very cold energy suffocating energy uh interference that was hurting his path that was hurting his life he doesn't he doesn't want that anymore and so spirit is really um showing him where he was trapped he had to look in the mirror to look at where all of these crows the changes that were happening within him and where he was trapped in his own mind so he put an end to it for a rebirth for a new beginning for this ace of pentacles to come forward so he's definitely transitioning he's definitely um he hasn't resistant resisted his transformation and that's this ending part like he's just clearing off the last of this this pain there's still pain here of entrapment that he's still tidying up. What is this pain? Yeah, that's still blocking some of his feelings. They're using some shame and guilt, you know. Some could be using magic that's not allowing this Ten of Cups to fully come forward. It's It could be doing with money and investments, what he's built. You know, he may have to take a hit financially. Um, but whatever he's built and waiting for something to prosper keeps him blocked from his happiness. So he knows that the longer that this... Uh, whatever people are trying to hold him back and try to rationalize what he shouldn't be doing it's actually pushing his free spirit he's he's learned to tame that horse and that free spirit so he's learning that that's going to finally remove that final mass to keep persevering and it's going to stoke the rest of that fire to finally come to an end and end his final transformation to move towards divine feminine so this is definitely an ending here and a rebirth that's happening in your connection right now wow so yeah a lot of major arcanas in this pile we're going to take a look at the karmic energies i'm going to put these back into the deck and we're going to shuffle it's almost half the deck that came out for you guys what is going on with pile three's person towards their karma 
addictions, codependency, whatever it is, what other third party situation, with their another marriage or a girlfriend, boyfriend, what is going on with pile three's person and their karma? What is pile three's person and their karma? Well, we got an ending of a marriage. The wheel wasn't turning and that's what they wanted here. So interesting. What is going on with pile three's person? Thank you. What is going on with pile three's person towards their karmic situation? What is going on with pile three's person towards their karmic situation? Thank you. Yeah, this is the courage. Is there any more that wants to come out? I think that might be it. So yeah, we have the strength in the reverse, the two of wands in reverse, and the knight of wands. So let's clarify the strength. We have three cards that came out. Eight of pentacles in reverse, the three of wands in reverse, and the magician. They're being manipulated that they're not focused on this anymore. Someone could be doing black magic on them or spell work. Two of pentacles in reverse. Two of wands in reverse, sorry. I think that's two of wands or two pentacles. Two pentacles, sorry. Two pentacles in reverse. I don't use this deck often. Yeah, we have the five of pentacles in reverse with the moon, which is good. And the knight of wands, please. Clarify the knight of wands. Okay. So what I'm seeing here is the reason why they haven't fully come into their full courage and not being able to sacrifice that lamb yet is because they've canceled plans. Um, they're not planning a future with this person anymore, or they're not going ahead with anything in this karmic situation anymore. Um, they're not working on it. <laughs> they're not focused on it because they know it's manipulative. They know that the energy was manipulating them out of their true calling, and they're not partaking in that anymore. And so the reason why they don't have the courage yet is because there's still some type of binding or something that's holding them. Clarify that, why are they not? courageous yet yeah they've halted everything okay that means that they they have to still halt something for some of them they have to still halt put a halt to it because it's uh it's taking yeah that's what it is thank you spirit where they were moving was very very fast moving energy and to pull those reins back it's like they're halting it but it hasn't come to a complete stop yet for this new love to come in and it's their feelings it's their feelings that that are the issue. Oops, I'm missing half the deck here. It's their feelings. What is this halting with this karmic energy and the feelings? They're being emotionally manipulated. This they, they still have one little lesson of an illusion. They may still feel that this person they're dealing with still has a good heart. <laughs> you know, people can really mimic that, especially if they're like got sweet eyes and whatever else. Yeah, the karmic justice is coming into play. So they're learning this lesson. Um, there's still something that they're like, seriously, I really didn't think this is what I'm getting with this energy. It's like, okay, I've seen it all. And then they're like, no, this person wouldn't go that far. And now they're like, holy crap, this person did go that far. So again, it's another um, awakening to this karmic energy, the balancing of the scales that are happening that they may not have thought that that they would have done this it's something that they weren't expecting it's almost like this is not what I expected out of this person and that I have to actually rise up and tame that and sacrifice this now completely they may have thought well maybe I could still be friends with this person maybe they have children together and maybe that you know they're going to be part of their life maybe we could co-parent and now they're realizing we can't co-parent like I can't even believe that so there's something that's happened because there's a manipulation that's happened that they weren't even recognizing and they're realizing why things weren't fully working because of some type of emotional manipulation is what I'm getting. And so when things started to come to a full halt, now that it's coming to a stop, 
they're realizing something else and now they're like damn yeah i need to move forward and that's the last bit that's going to push them into coming towards this this justice and this new ace of cups towards the divine feminine towards the viewer i should say yeah so this karmic energy it's like they're not juggling this anymore so it has somewhat come to an end and to a stop but <laughs> there's still an element of darkness that they still have to work through before they can fully return and that's that last element they're like i never thought this person would stoop that low and i feel maybe it's about money like oh they wouldn't steal money that way or they wouldn't take out of my kids trust fund but they did <laughs> they're like what I'm using that as an example. No, this person wouldn't spread rumors like that. And they did. So it's almost like another veil has lifted and they're like, I'm done. I'm done. And that's the, and, and whatever amicable relationship they were trying to have, that's even completely gone. Because I feel this person wants to like, you know, co-parent if they have children together. And sorry, there's a plane going by. My apologies. I'll wait. so they thought like i'm sorry about that but they may be wanting to come and travel to see you and that might be another breaking point is what i'm getting we don't usually get planes here so um i feel that with that plane it's like you know i want to jump on a plane i want to see what this connection's about i need to travel to my person and they're they need to get some truths maybe from you to realize holy crap yeah this was this was happening they need some kind of, maybe some validation from you as well so this person may be reaching out but there's still something, and that's why they want to come back and return. Um, before they can fully return, they have to deal with this darkness here. So there's something here with this uh, Bebo being single and abundant. They're getting a message from spirit about this pentacle, this one pentacle that they haven't, they've overlooked. There's something in this karmic energy that they've overlooked that that they can't you know for them to be fully independent of this energy it's something to do with money they have to go back and recheck their fine it's causing imbalance so there's still something they're working out financially um before they can fully move move on from this energy it's it's a lot of imbalance here and patience this person's getting really frustrated with this karmic energy they're like i can't believe this like i have to and it's the unraveling that they're like really it's 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 almost a surprise to some of them and when that's done with this karmic energy they're moving on fully okay this karmic was quite the doozy here quite the doozy we'll put that here that's still a little bit of darkness there so yeah so let's see they want to do this quickly and come out of this hermit mode they're done being kept and held back in this cave you know they found their light they're ready to move on they want to passionately do this they want to get out of there now. They want to jump on this horse and get out. That's their outcome with this karmic energy. Clarify that spirit. Yeah, they're walking away so they can clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, they want the Ten of Pentacles here with the Divine Feminine. This commitment betrayed the Divine Feminine. So, this came out in the challenged position this marriage that they're actioning okay something traditional that they're ending it's about to end and um they want they're impatient to do this that they're slowly moving away from this um this family pattern the people that were you know he was loyal to this person was loyal to is moving away slowly and taking it bit by bit sturdy action step-by-step -step planning grounding the energy bit by bit bit by bit and planning and moving towards their destiny with you and they know again this betrayal right that they have to work on this with the karmic energy before they can birth anything new with this divine feminine and so they're willing to do this let's clarify that hierophant was in a challenge yeah it's that nine of cups in reverse so that's not their happiness it was suffocating so what is this ten of pentacles that they're moving on from that's the karmic energy see that they're not actioning this king of wands here with that queen of queen of swords it's too cold they're slowly moving away from it it's the foundation that they built so there's a home life here 
that they that they have to put an end to that it's last tying up the the last little bit here their home life their marriage right before they can come towards the divine feminine clarify the divine feminine here yeah they can't get on this path yet this is the last little bit they're cleaning up but they're definitely working on it this person knows what they want they're bringing karmic justice to the situation one more card please clarify spirit yeah, you're the queen of their wands. They see you. They're going to persevere. They're going to defend you. They're going to stand their ground. They're not going to let anything get in their way, even though they get attacked here. Look at this person. Even if they're getting attacked, you have people coming after them. Like, no, I'm standing my ground with this divine feminine. I'm, I'm, I'm moving towards her. So, yeah, really beautiful energies here, guys. Um, your person is coming. They're ending. They're just tying the last little bit up. Let's see what their messages are towards you. And that will be your reading. So yeah, this is all in divine timing. It is faded. This connection is completely faded. They've learned their lesson in greed. They're moving on now. They know what they desire. Um, they're removing obstacles in their life. When they come forward, they're gonna, it's the last little bit of this, this facade that they're gonna be removing. Elephants are tribes tribe family they find each other intuitively all the time they're telepathic scientifically proven that they're telepathic look it up it's a, it's amazing um and they're gonna be charging through anything you know that keeps them stagnant in order to build this with with divine feminine so they're definitely know that it's faded it's in divine timing they're taking their time because they want to make it right and they know god has their back and they're taking this healing um definitely healing here and yeah, they're cleaning it up. So it's going to take bit by bit. They have to stay very present in their life to make sure they don't miss anything. They've been dealing with someone very manipulative. So they know that they have to do this in order to fully come right to this divine empress here. But they are rising here because they've been suffering for so long. It's a mirrored soul, twin flame. Okay, let's see their messages too. This is masculine energy. I love you like no other that's the masculine i love you like nobody else nobody compares to you divine feminine it's you it's you it's always been you i'm healing my karma <laughs> exactly <laughs> please trust that i'm doing the best i can with what tools i have so they really are doing the best that they can they're working they know what they're doing they're standing their ground they're rising they're coming towards you they hear you inside of them if you're dealing with the masculine. Okay, remember, take these as vice versa. What resonates? Feminine energy. When you truly saw me, I saw myself. You illuminated my innermost sacred spaces. Beautiful. I am so angry about our situation. Yeah, that's why they're not giving up. They're not giving up on this. I am so angry about our situation. I'm doing my best to heal this. I know you feel my anger, but I also know I have to express it in order to heal it. So if you've been feeling the frustration and the fire, that's that phoenix that's burning it all down. Um, they're working on it, okay? They're really working on it because they don't want to miss out um, on this connection. They're doing their best to heal the situation. I know now that we both hurt one another because we were hurting ourselves deeply in our subconscious. So this masculine or this feminine or whoever you're dealing with, your person definitely knows that it's a mirrored connection and you guys were hurting each other and they that's why they're taking their time to make sure everything is right and orderly so you guys can have this beautiful connection coming together. And um, they know that it's in divine timing, that fates, that everything is going to line up perfectly if you love that reading please like and comment don't forget to subscribe and if you want to know more about your person and your connection we can get much more into details uh i'm booked i'm booking still for the rest of june so make sure you email me at info at renawells.com if you want to book that i won't probably open up readings until september and i'm sending you guys so much love bye guys